killing a baby is never a choice or an option. It is murder. Ma'am, I can't come down here. I can't come over there. There you go, ma'am. Here, take one of these too. There you go. So you're here to block the message? No, that's the only way I can park. That's the only way you could park? Yeah. Why, parking down there where you were isn't good no, enough? I want to be down here so I can see y'all. Because there's been threats by other neighborhoods. Uh-huh. Well, you know, basically you're parking here, so what you're going to do is you're going to make me move but because you're blocking. What's that? I said I'm about to move. Oh, okay. Okay. And I can't ask you to leave for stepping off the sidewalk. Well, actually, I stayed behind the red line. That's a fire lane. So that's still a full property. Okay. okay. So we're going to do this peacefully. Yes, we are. We're going to get along just like we did yesterday. Excellent. Many will say to him, Lord, Lord. Didn't we do many wonderful things? Didn't we go to church? Didn't we perform miracles in your name? And Jesus said that he will reply to them, Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness, for I do not know you. You see, God's word says that if you break one commandment, you have broken them all. And there is only one who can forgive your sin. But it is for the forgiveness is for those who come to him with a repentant heart. It is a prideful heart that he despises. It is a self-righteous heart that he hates. If you come to him with a repentant heart, he is faithful and just to forgive. That is what his word declares. But see, you cannot come to him presuming upon his grace and saying, oh, I'm forgiven, I can go ahead and sin. His word says that he does not like that. In fact, his word says that he hates that. Thank you. Can I take there a picture with this? Sure can. From the phone, hold up here. Let me see him. Oh. So you, you, you say you agree. What does that look like? That means I agree with the with the with the Bible. I agree with what Jesus says mm -hmm. and what the Bible says. What about this? Here, go ahead, take another one. You didn't take it? No. Well, you can go to our Facebook page. You'll see the picture on there. Oh really? But um, what? What? With the abolitionist society, Brian, grab that. With the abolitionist society of Little Elm, you can go to our Facebook page. What's it called? This called though. Our Facebook page is right on there. Okay. This is ProjectFrontlines.com. You can go to abolish human abortion too. Okay. Um, but what I was, wanted to know was, what, what does that look like? You say you agree. This is like murder. That, so what what do you do? What do we do? Right. With with this. Yeah. No, about this. About it. We go and protest. We gotta go tell people. We, I say we go to the to the doctors where they do that stuff and go and protest because this is not right. This is human. It's taking a that's uh, a murder. Mm -hmm. And are, are you a Christian, Edwin? I'm a Christian. Yeah. You're a Christian. Me okay. Too. You're a Christian. Yeah. Okay. See, because a lot of people have a good moral opinion. A lot of people look at this and say this is terrible. Yeah. And they'll say, well, I vote every four years. See, God's word says that we are to defend those being led to the slaughter psalm 24 we are to be a voice for the voiceless they said no murder went to the kingdom of the king of heaven no murderers and what they're doing right here is a murder that's right murdering. but see that's life. see to us what did james say james said that if we know what the right thing to do is and yet we do not do it to us it is sin yeah okay so if you know this is like like 
like say those kids right there, those are your friends? Yeah. Okay. Say somebody was gonna go over and start pounding on them and take out a knife and stab them. Would you stand and say, well, that's wrong? Or would you go? I would go. That's right. All right. James 127, we are to practice pure and undefiled religion. And what does that look like? He says, it is to rescue the widows and the orphans in their distress and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Okay? I know you guys are high school kids and there's not much to do. You're in school and stuff. But you're, God has placed you here as Christians as beacons of light. Okay? That's what a Christian is. You're salt and light. And we ask a lot of people, what does your Christianity look like in a culture that murders over 3,000 every day? Every day. Two, every minute. And that's just the ones they count. You see, the big states like Florida and, Tech and California and New York, they don't count. They don't count them. And then in that number, they don't count any of the babies that are killed by the pill. They only count the ones that are surgically aborted like this. Nor do they count the ones where you go to Walmart and Walgreen and buy the abortion right at, off the counter. Okay? So it's way over 3,000 a day. Two every minute. And, and I tell people when we're out at these things, I tell the students, when, you, when you're in class, I mean, when I was in class, I used to look at the clock and be like, oh, yeah. when is the bell going to ring? Yeah. Well, just know now. Every time that clock moves one minute, yeah. two more babies just died. Wow. And that happens every hour of every day, of every week, of every month, of every, every year. year. You know how many Hitler killed? Millions. 11, over 11 million. Okay. You know how many we've killed? Millions too. Over 60 million. And people say, you know, back in Nazi Germany, those Christians, they were terrible Christians. They should have been protesting and standing up. Where are the Christians today? Right? Yeah. Well, thank you. you have to go to okay. Faith is an action word. Faith is a verb. Okay? Yeah. Be salt and be light. And thank you guys for coming and speaking to me. God bless you guys.